ça va A short video about the word bon in French, but this time not when bon means good, but when it means correct. And we are going to see how. Let's see uh, some examples, several ex examples to know how we can use the word bon in such cases. For example, uh, it's not the right number. Ce n'est pas le bon numéro in French. Here, you translate right with the word bon. Ce n'est pas le bon numéro. It is not a familiar way to speak. It's correct French. Ce n'est pas le bon numéro. And we use here bon, the masculine form, because numéro is masculine in French. Nous sommes perdus. We are lost. Ce n'est pas la bonne rue. Ce n'est pas la bonne rue. It is not the correct or the right road or street. Ce n'est pas la bonne rue. And here now, bon is feminine because rue is feminine. So it's another way to use here the translation of uh, correct or right with the word bon and bonne in French. More examples. Uh, you are uh, doing a calculation and there is a problem with the result. So you can say ce n'est pas bon. If you want to say it's not right, it's not correct. Ce n'est pas bon. So here, bon, again, means correct. Ce n'est pas bon. Le résultat n'est pas bon. And you can use bon for such examples. Tu es arrivé au bon moment. You arrived at the right time. Here it's an expression. The right time in French is le bon moment. Tu es arrivé au bon moment. You arrived at the right time. Again, here, right is translated with bon in French. Well, someone want to take uh, the knife, but obviously not the good part, the correct part. So you can say, non, ce n'est pas le bon côté. Non, ce n'est pas le bon côté. So here again, bon to mean the right uh, part of the knife. You want to put a painting or a picture on a wall and you need help to be sure it is uh, correct. So what, what can you do? Well, you can say, je suis bon là. And the question is, uh, is that okay? Je suis bon là. And we use the word bon. Or you can say, c'est bon là. C'est bon là. So it is correct. It is okay là. And again, we use the word bon. In this case, you want to put uh, the television on a table. And you can say, la télé est au bon endroit. La télé est au bon endroit. Le bon endroit is the right place. La télé est au bon endroit. Again, we use bon. Because of the letter I, the vowel we have just after, you can hear that the pronunciation of bon is different. Au bon endroit. It's like the pronunciation of the feminine form. La télé est au bon endroit. The reason is the vowel and the liaison between the two words. Well, you've got now your profession. But someone wants to say that is not the correct one that you choose for you. So, désolé, mais vous n'avez pas choisi le bon métier. Vous n'avez pas choisi le bon métier. So, you didn't choose the correct or the right uh, profession for you. And here we use again the word bon in French. Vous n'avez pas choisi le bon métier. Here about a screwdriver, you need uh, a tool. And you can say, donne-moi le tournevis. So give me the screwdriver. Mais non, ce n'est pas le bon. No, it's not the right one. Ce n'est pas le bon. Just that. Non, ce n'est pas le bon. Because you need it another type of screwdriver. Mais non, ce n'est pas le bon. Same thing about cards. For example, here we've got two cards. And you can say, c'est la bonne carte. C'est la bonne carte. So, is this the correct card? Again, using the word bon in French, feminine form. Okay? Well, now, say fini. So, I hope you will be able to use the word bon when the meaning is correct in French. You can try it, actually. Again, it's perfect French. So, merci d'avoir suivi cette vidéo avec moi. Moi, je vous dis à bientôt. Et surtout, bon français